and in the sound community, everyone really admired Richard's mixing. I mean, Richard's mixing was always about helping to tell the story, so everyone looked up to him. He was just perfect with, you know, running the board, the soundboard. I mean, there was there just were very few people with that level of talent. Richard Portman changed the nature of sound recording in Hollywood. Star Wars, The Godfather, The Deer Hunter. These are just a few film classics that legendary sound mixer Richard Portman laid his hands on. A true maverick, Richard Portman worked repeatedly with directors like Robert Altman, Mel Brooks, and Sidney Lumet because of his innovative style, impeccable talent, and unique but unforgettable personality. Pretty much every sound person is boring, and uh, Richard Portman was the one the one sound guy in the entire universe who was not boring. His perfectionist, gruff, <laughs> he, he took no prisoners when, when he wanted something done right. And I think that the personality of the man, the sense of magic, who could confect all of these things on the mix stage and give you something that was, wow, was really interesting. Richard was born into sound. His father, Clem Portman, was one of the original architects of motion picture sound recording. Following his lead, Richard began to learn the ins and outs of sound recording, and he started working for the studios in Hollywood in the 50s. People like Gordon Sawyer and people like Clem were there at the beginning, so having your father being one of the pioneers of sound probably really did help him to really just be immersed in that world. By the early 70s, Richard had made a name for himself as a sound re-recording mixer, catching the eye of directors like Hal Ashby and Francis Ford Coppola. He began to establish collaborative relationships with the world's best filmmakers. In 1979, he was awarded an Oscar for his work on The Deer Hunter and went on to garner 10 more nominations during his career. The really well-known and famous directors that Richard uh, has worked with over the years sought him out uh, because of his sensitivity and of an ability to interpret what they were trying to tell as story makers. In the 90s, Richard became increasingly frustrated with the changing dynamics of Hollywood. This led him to the Florida State University Film School, where he was named Gordon Sawyer Professor of Sound. Under his tutelage, young filmmakers flourished at Florida State, producing award-winning student films year after year and finding meaningful jobs in the sound mixing community. Richard probably uh, was so dedicated to, his, uh, to doing a good job and, and so honest that uh, you know, eventually Hollywood's a tough uh, world to live in and Hollywood's changed. And he decided, enough with this world, I'm gonna go you know, impart something to somebody else. It's an amazing gift. When he said he was doing it, I went, God, those lucky students. Well, I was always kind of drifting towards sound, but that's a lot of the reason I looked to Richard when I was looking at programs and, you know, his history. Um, I just knew that there was a lot of knowledge there and a lot that could be gained from uh, studying with him. Here is this person who is uh, legendary and a great person to learn from. He was very sharing and warm with his knowledge. I mean, he taught me so much. Ultimately, Richard wanted to remind the world that film is both pictures and sound, and in doing so, he influenced generations of filmmakers for years to come. He really is a lot of the reason I'm doing what I'm doing today. You know, I learned everything I learned from him in school, and it's all applied. So I'm always proud to say, oh, I learned under Richard Portman, and you always get that look that, whoa, you know, Richard Portman, wow. <laughs>